What is up guys, I'm Lucas and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the most important insight you can have to live a fulfilling, happy life. And this crucial insight is that you should spend more time doing meaningless nonsense and drinking more beer. So that's not actually the insight. The real insight is you are not your thoughts. This is essential for living the good life. And I'm sure you wanna live the good life. You definitely don't wanna live the shit life. So this also applies to feelings as well. You are not a feeling that arises in the body. Now, there is an awareness behind these feelings and thoughts. So you can use this to just become aware of them and let them go. And this isn't as easy as it might seem. It actually requires practice. You have to practice this. It's not enough just to say, okay, I got it. I'm not my thoughts or feelings. Now what? This is something, it's highly practical. It, it's, you have to apply this in your life. You have to continuously become aware of this. A great practice to help you do this is meditation. Because during meditation, there is no goal to it. It's just to be aware of what is present. Thoughts can arise and they can fall off. They, you let them go. Feelings come up and you watch them go. All these thoughts and feelings come and go. And this is absolutely essential for living the good life. So the reason why this is essential for living the good life is because if you aren't doing this, you're just gonna be emotionally reactive and pulled everywhere by your thoughts and feelings because your mind can't stop thinking. You don't actually have a choice in this. Silencing your mind is something that takes a long time to do. You probably can't even go 10 seconds without thinking another thought. You have absolutely zero control over this. So you need to be able to watch these thoughts and let them go or else you're gonna get pulled off into some fantasy land and when stressful thoughts and, and thoughts full of worry arise, you're gonna get lost in these. And this is gonna destroy the quality of your life because you're gonna be feeling like shit. And the point of this video is to help you to not feel like shit. So some places where this will apply to in your life are relationships, business, and your overall happiness in life, as I've been saying. So this is big in relationships because if you are a masculine man, you need to be grounded in your relationship. You can't be flying all over the place. You can't be lost in daydreamland in your thoughts, stressed and worried. And if you're a woman, you have to really feel deeper into your emotions and be able to let them go. They can't pull you around everywhere. It applies for both. Men tend to have very mental, rational positions on things, and women tend to have deep emotional stances on things. A lot of these stances can cause suffering. You can't detach from them. You're very attached to the way you feel and think about the world. And this can bring a lot of suffering. So this also applies to business because if you are doing a business deal with someone and you're very worried about it, you're stressful, you really need this deal. If they feel this off you, they feel that they are in a position of power and they can pull you around. It also just makes you feel like shit to feel that way. So this is absolutely essential for business because when you're also just trying to make a sale to a regular customer, if they feel that you are needy and they just feel this, it's, it's not a pleasurable experience. They don't wanna come back. So you have to notice this and let it go. You have to be more flexible. You have to be more present because when you're present, you're not suffering. When, you are, when you're embracing the present moment, there is no suffering. When you're truly embracing it, you're 100% here now, you're not suffering anymore. You're not in daydream land, thinking about fucking nonsense. So this is very practical. This isn't some sort of heavy, like high ideal. It's very practical. Day to day, you have to, moment to moment, day to day, you have to watch these thoughts and emotions and feelings. You have to realize you can let them go, that you are not your thoughts or feelings. And when you're so identified with these, they pull you around. 
This changes your life, this insight. So can you see the absolute craziness of thinking you are your thoughts? You're caught up in fantasy land. You're just lost in imagination all day. This is very difficult to do, this emotional mastery. 95% of people don't have this because they don't have yoga habits or meditation habits or they're not the thought I need to raise my awareness hasn't actually occurred to them. And even when they hear this, it's too idealistic to them. It's a waste of time. But how does it make me money? Will it get me laid? So meditation is a great habit that you need to be doing daily to really gain this mastery over your thoughts and emotions. This is absolutely essential for this. 95% of people don't do this. This is why they don't have emotional mastery. This is why most people's lives are, are an absolute mess. This is very practical. So you're going to want to start slow when you meditate, maybe five minutes a day, which is already hard if you've never done it before because everyone is so distracted by their phone and junk food and all of this. So when I started, I couldn't even do five minutes. Now I've been doing it for around two, two years. And I can do over an hour a day. I do at least an hour every day. I can go up to five, six, seven hours. And it's insane the benefits that you get from this. Your awareness dramatically increases. Your clarity is radically higher. Your ability to be present and authentic is way easier. Your life overall flows smoothly. There's no resistance. You're present and you're flowing with reality. You're not lost in daydreams all day. You're in the present moment. The only thing that is real, the present moment is the only thing that exists. When you're actually suffering in life, you have some ideal about how you wish reality was and it's absolute nonsense. It's craziness. It's just being lost in imagination land. It's absolutely fucking stupid. And this is how most people live their lives. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. If you guys want to see more, subscribe. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment. I absolutely love reading them. And finally, I'm going to be having a lot more videos on meditation, consciousness, psychology, metaphysics, philosophy, etc. Topics like this. And I'm still working on understanding the growth of human consciousness, consciousness part two. I'm still writing it out. I'm getting a lot of information for it. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.